Now, since winning the U.S. presidential election, Republican Donald Trump has softened his rhetoric, sparking questions about whether he will fulfill his campaign promises. He has also praised his Democrat, uh, Democratic opponent Hillary Clinton and her husband, former President Bill Clinton, as well as President Barack Obama. The president-elect answered some of these questions in an interview with the CBS television network aired Sunday. Slide is a hoax reports. Trump's unexpected victory has sparked protests in major American cities, and more are planned for January to coincide with his inauguration day. What I think a protest like this can do is send a message to others in the country who are upset with this new president, and also internationally, that Americans don't support his racist, sexist agenda. Trump hastened to point out that his former political opponents have offered their support. In an interview for the CBS TV program, 60 Minutes, he described the Clintons as a talented family whom he would consider asking for advice. He reaffirmed his intention to erect a wall along the border with Mexico, but conceded that in certain areas it would only be a fence. In certain areas the wall is more appropriate. I'm very good at this. It's called construction. Republicans in Congress have made it clear they're not assembling a force to deport an estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants as Trump has promised to do. In the 60 Minutes interview, he insisted that some of them will be deported. What we are going to do is get the people that are criminal and have criminal records, gang members, drug dealers, we have a lot of these people, probably two million, it could even be three million. We're getting them out of our country or we're going to incarcerate, but we're getting them out of our country, they're here illegally. After the border is secured and after everything gets normalized, we're gonna make a determination on the people that you're talking about who are terrific people. Former presidential candidate Senator Bernie Sanders said Democrats must start a grassroots movement to fight for what is right. There is no rational reason why we pay the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. No rational reason why we are the only major nation on earth that doesn't guarantee health care to all people. Trump said he would repeal President Obama's signature health care program, but replace it simultaneously with another one that retains some of the provisions from so-called Obamacare. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.